All right, so we just got to uh, Quartzsite, Arizona, uh, and I came out here from Buckeye because uh, Tesla just opened up a brand new 88 stall uh, charging stations uh, out here in Quartzsite. Um, had to see it for, my, for myself with my own eyes. Uh, this place is actually so new that it's not currently on the, um, on the Tesla navigation in terms of, you know, this is where you should stop and, uh, and charge up at. So um, I'm gonna get out here in a second. I'm gonna flip you guys around so we can take a look at some of the, uh, the pricing. All right, so we're in a court site. As you can see, there's uh, 80, uh, 84 stalls. Um, it says that there's 55 stalls that are available. And when we get out here, uh, we'll see that some of the stalls are still covered. Um, it looks like it's 37 cents per kilowatt hour. And then of course, there's always those uh, idling fees of a uh, dollar. So um, if you're not too familiar with this area, Quartzsite is in between Arizona and California. And if I zoom out here, we're probably like a good uh, two hours from, uh, from Phoenix. Actually, probably even longer than that. So Phoenix is right over here. This is where we are. Right down here is uh, Puerto Penasco. It's a very big uh, popular area for people from Arizona. So, uh, and then pa Baja, Mexico, and then of course, California is over here. So uh, we'll get out here in just a second. I will try to make it quick because uh, it's, uh, as you can see, it is 111 degrees today. And the iPhone doesn't like being in the sun for very long before it overheats. So uh, let's get out and take a look. All right, so you can probably hear the uh, Tesla really loud when it's trying to stay cool. Uh, but this place is uh, really cool. It's the biggest charging station uh, that I've ever been at. And from what I read online, it's the biggest one in the US. So as you can see, I believe these are all uh, version threes uh, all the way down. And then it looks, I think those might be version fours. They're still covered, but if we look up Above us, you can see that these are solar panels, which is really cool. That it's uh, somewhat self-sustaining. Uh, looks like we've got some some small businesses over here. It looks like you can buy some stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks like you know we got some older older looking stuff over there. And of course, there's a gas station. There's a Burger King. So there's some places that you can uh, walk over and get some food if you need it. Um, the other really cool thing, this is the first time I've ever seen this, is there's actually a pull through. Uh, so for those of you that have trailers, uh, and of course the Cybertruck, once that comes out, I'm sure you'll be able to fit a Cybertruck into a, a standard stall, but uh, really nice that they have the, uh, the pull throughs as well. That's definitely gonna be very useful. Uh, out this way, there's a, a lot of people with RVs, so, uh, I'm, I'm assuming they're kind of anticipating people because uh, you can bring boat, boats up to uh, Parker, Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, believe it or not, people do have boats in Arizona. Um, and let's go take a look at very loud as you can hear. These, I am assuming, are the version 4s. I'm not gonna uh, touch anything, just gonna peek around here. Yeah, I don't know too much about the equipment that's behind it. Um, but overall, really, really cool. Loving the solar panels. I know t uh, Elon Musk had talked about doing solar panels on these uh, charging stalls for a while so that they're self-sustaining, but it's really cool to have that here in Arizona. Obviously, it makes sense to have that here. Uh, so yeah, I, when I read online that there was 88 stalls, what it said on the map was only 84, but I don't know, I'm not gonna count. I'll just uh, take Tesla's word for it on the map, but let's say we also have, oh, these ones are really loud over here. Yeah, these ones are really loud. Little small fire extinguisher. Probably gonna need more than that if it ever caught on fire. And then uh, as we can see here, there's more stalls on this side. I don't see any more pull throughs. So it looks like only this side has the, uh, the pull through stalls. And it looks like there's
there's two of them? Yeah, just two of them. Oh man, okay. Now they got quiet. I wonder why those kicked on. There's nobody there's no nobody charging there. There's only one other person that's charging. And like I said, uh this is not on the uh the Tesla navigation yet that I could see anyway. I could be wrong. Um, there's two other charging locations here in Quartzsite where you can charge up at. So this one is uh, is very nice. <laughs> it was interesting because I did have to pull in through this spot over here. And it doesn't tell you that there's a Tesla charging station yet. Let's keep walking down and see what else we got down here. So yeah, there's a gas station with some snacks. From my understanding, uh, Tesla is gonna be doing like a diner style, 1950s diner style. That's gonna be owned by them, but in the meantime, want some stuff you're still gonna have to go to a gas station and then there's some other stuff that you can buy over there as well but you do have to cross the main road um, but yeah really cool that that is called Cowboys Corner over there I'm not sure if they actually sell stuff but it's Saturday so maybe they sell stuff during the week um, and yeah it looks like potentially maybe version 4 is right here so uh, I'm gonna go inside check out that gas station I'll be right back out all right, so this is a really nice gas station. As you can see, they got a beer cave over there, walk-in cooler, and uh, yeah, lots of snacks. So uh, really cool place. Bathrooms are over there. Yeah, nice little, uh, nice little stop if you need to. Let's head back up. All right, one one other observation I made. <laughs> they actually have uh, garbage bins here. A lot of uh, Tesla charging locations don't have place for you to empty your trash so that's nice to see would also nice to be see uh to see if they have um where you can wash your uh your windows like a lot of gas stations they have a little liquid that you can use to clean off your windows windshields that would be nice but uh that's all right just really happy to see these solar charges up there that's pretty cool all right the other thing too is these are still using the uh, original Tesla charging uh, adapters. So they don't have the uh, the magic dock that I can see anyway. And yeah, these are still the, uh, you know, the OG Tesla chargers. Looks like some of these, uh, looks like some of these may have actually been damaged. Yeah, it's, uh, a lot of them are pretty dirty already. So this, this place actually opened up I think, I want to say like a couple of days ago is when they had the uh, official opening ceremony. Uh, we can still see that <laughs> there's still some stuff left on the ground. It's like maybe some of the caution tape. Maybe they're going to go through and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're going to go through and clean up some of the stuff that's still left in the chargers. I have no idea. Uh, also, I'm wondering, I don't know if those are transformers or if those are transformers or if those are uh, the backup battery packs. I'm not sure if those ha if they have those here. I'd imagine they would if they have solar chargers. That's probably going into some battery bank somewhere. I'm assuming it's those things. So that uh, if the main utility supply got cut off, uh, this place would still be operational. Uh, they do have lighting, always uh, always a plus for those that are charging here late at night. Uh, and then of course there's additional lights over there. And uh, like I showed you the, the video of the gas station, it's really nice in there. I like that gas station. A lot of, a lot of snacks. Let me go over here. I didn't read these. I don't know if these are for... Oh yeah, those are for uh, handicap stalls. Is that what those are? Let me see what it says. No parking. 
working and EV charging only. Oh yeah, okay, these are for um, disabled parking, I see. Of course, they have a little small trash can over there. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I think I've done being, uh, I'm done being nosy. Very cool stuff. It's uh, pretty amazing how fast this is all coming along. It was like 12, 13 years ago, they had just a few EV chargers around the country. Now they're all over the place. All right, so now that we're back in the car, um, charging pretty quick here. I think I got here with a 39% battery. Um, I'm up to 67% already. Uh, doing 310 miles per hour in terms of charging, so it's pretty quick. <laughs> uh, again, I am the only other person here. There's one more person on the other side of those, uh, what I believe to be better packs. I could be wrong, um, but I am actually going to get out of here pretty soon because I have more than enough charge to get home. Uh, again, you know, if you guys have any questions for me, uh, just let me know.